Hi, this is Matt Marchant, and I have a question. Why do we fear change? Well, if you think about humans, we are pattern-seeking mammals, meaning we love to have patterns. So anytime that we're not offered some sort of pattern to follow, we can have some sort of fear. So any change we ever make in our life is basically challenging whatever patterns we've set for ourselves, whether that's... Um, a recent pattern or a long pattern. So could it be true that the longer we um, have these patterns, the more challenging uh, it is to change. So let's think of change as, if we're talking about uh, change, we're looking to obviously change something about our behavior, typically, or about ourselves. So does change require self-control? I would say yes. If you want to have some change, you have to have self-control. So here's my next question. Does self-control require self-awareness? Can you change anything about your behavior if you're completely unaware about it? I would say no. So change requires um, self-control. Self-control requires self-awareness. So what does self-awareness need? What do we need to start getting more aware of self could it be that we need vulnerability with ourselves? So could it be that we need to take an open and honest look at really who we are inside in order to have some self-awareness? There has to be some sort of vulnerability. So going back to why we fear change. So all the way back over here, um, change. Someone says, I, I'm afraid to change. Is that what they're really afraid about? Well, I, I'm afraid of having to change some things in my self-control. Is that really what you're afraid about? Well, I'm really afraid of just getting more awareness. Is that really what you're afraid about? Or is it really the fear of what's called intimacy with self, which goes back to being vulnerable with self? So I would offer you this possible hypothesis that when we say or when we feel or when we experience some fear in the changing process, it's really, if we distill it down, we're having fear of being more intimate, being more vulnerable, and being more open with who we really are. Now we can say, well, no, it's, it's this over here. I'm afraid of how other people will view me. I'm afraid of what that will mean for my career. I'm afraid of, um, you know, all these different things. Well, what if it takes too long to change? And on and on and on. All valid, right? Sit and listen to the literal reasons someone might have for their uh, inability or fear of changing. I've, I've used many excuses. I could go on for minutes giving you all my excuses. But could it really be that, again, if we distill it down, the fear of change is really the fear of being intimate, vulnerable, and open with ourselves. I find that to be a very interesting question. I invite you to ask that question of yourself and see what answer you come up with. Thanks for watching.